What's up guys? What's going on? It's your buddy Frank Daniels and today I'm going to give you a super powerful strategy to be able to change your health and physical appearance and make it stick over the long term. Now you'll notice behind me I have this awesome diagram here. We'll just call it a timeline. And what I'm going to tell you today is the way that you change any specific thing in terms of your fitness your physical body, your nutrition. This is the one way that you change any of that stuff that you should focus on, but it's also the way that you would change and develop in any area. So it's not just your fitness, it's not just working out, it's not just nutrition, but it's also any area of success that you're trying to create in your life. Okay, that goes for your finances, your personal relationships. So what I'm about to tell you today is exactly how you do it and how you make these things stick over the long haul because now you've developed habits that support you as opposed to the other way around. So what I have behind me is a timeline, and I'm going to give you guys a couple examples to roll with this, but let me tell you why I'm talking about this and where it came from. Uh, I'm taking, I'm going to give you kind of two ideas that I've taken from mentors of mine. And this first idea is from my mentor, Bedros Kulian. Uh, he's, a, he's a huge dude in the fitness industry, helps just fitness professionals all over the world do their thing at a higher level, uh, and he's a driver behind that. So it's kind of a big deal. And one of the things he's always teaching us is, working in your three foot space. So what does that mean? Well what it means is you should only be thinking about what's available right in front of you as opposed to the big picture. So everyone has this idea of where they are right now which might be right here and ultimately where you want to go which is the end goal. Uh, but when you focus on the end goal too much and you overwhelm yourself with the insurmountable things that I need to do, let's say that you You've been spending years out of the fitness game. So now you're thinking about getting in shape and you're going, man, i got to work out five times a week and I have to overhaul my nutrition. I'm going to have to show, you know, show up to the supermarket and start shopping differently, eating differently, give up all this food that I love to eat. Now you're paying attention to this more than just worrying about taking it one notch, uh, one degree more, right, or, or to the next level. So that's working in your three-foot space, understanding that to get in better shape, you don't have to go from here to here overnight. All you really need to do is work in your three-foot space, get to that next notch, and ultimately you're going to get in better shape. Why? Because if you try to do this overnight, chances are you're going to overwhelm yourself, and, uh, and those results are hard to make stick. It's doable, but most people just don't work like that. Okay? The best way to develop yourself in your physical fitness, okay? change your body, is to continue to notch forward, continue to notch forward, and work in your three-foot space. So don't overwhelm yourself with the big picture of your end goal, you know it's there, you know you're going there, but ultimately the first thing you gotta do is take that first step. So you gotta get to the gym on day one. Okay, you gotta start learning what good nutrition is and changing those things. All right, so that's that first step, and that in itself will help you get in better shape. All right, usually it's not things that people do, um, you know, cold turkey. Let's say you wanna quit smoking cigarettes, you know, here's, here's, here you smoke cigarettes. Here's not smoking cigarettes. Well, if you smoke 20 cigarettes a day, maybe it's a good idea to get to 15 and just notch it down, and then 10, and then 5. You know, could you go cold turkey? Of course you could. I used to be a cigarette smoker. Just for example, I went cold turkey. That's me. I haven't go, gone cold turkey on everything. Um, usually what I do is work in my three-foot space and notch forward. Another concept for you is this idea that I only need to get 5% better. Okay, so this is a big success tip. For people out there. If you are out of shape, nutrition sucks, you're miserable because of it, you're lacking confidence, whatever it might be because of those things, your comfort zone is a shitty place to be in. So the only way you're going to change that is to be 5% or be out of your comfort zone. So you don't have to do much, you just have to be 5% more. And again, it's the same kind of idea. I just need to notch one step forward as opposed to think about just doing things that are way, way far off where I am right now, okay? So in order to change those things, i got to be uncomfortable, right? Because whatever you're doing right now is not working, so we have to change that, right? But I don't have to be 100% more uncomfortable. I just need to be 5% more uncomfortable. Just get to that next notch, and now my health, my fitness is going to improve in what other area um, that I'm working on, all right? So the way you improve one thing is the way that you improve everything. So I'll give you a more practical example that, that you guys can kind of you know, grasp on, right? 
if I step in the gym and I have a goal to bench press 300 pounds, okay, here's that end goal right there, right? And I'm starting, and the first day I can only do 150 pounds. It's very realistic and logical to understand that I'm not going to jump to 300 pounds in one shot. Okay, that might take me six months. Okay, it might take me 12 months to be able to work up to that. It might take even longer, but any logical person understands that the best thing to do is get to 175 first, right? And then I'm going to get to 200 and so on and keep notching it up, okay? I get 5% better each time. I get in better shape. I'm happy because I'm making progress, but I don't need to make all that progress in one jump because it's realistic that I know I need to develop myself and build myself to that point. This is the same thing with all habits, okay? The same thing with fitness, the same thing with nutrition, and the same thing with anything else that you might do is you're at a certain point. It doesn't matter where you are on the timeline. All you really need to do is understand how to notch forward to the next one. If you continually focus on that as opposed to looking at the big picture and being overwhelmed because you think that you have to do everything at once, this is what stops people. Okay, this is what stops people, is focusing on the big picture, being overwhelmed by an insurmountable things that I need to accomplish at one time. Okay, if you're starting here, that's a lot to take care of. But if you can train yourself to understand, one, you got to get a little bit uncomfortable, and two, just working in three-foot space, just notch that shit forward one shot. Do that continually, and eventually, you're going to end up at your end goal. But once again, guys, we got to understand that. Okay, just notch to the next level three foot space, be 5% more uncomfortable, okay, get out of your comfort zone just a little bit, and again, the end goal is waiting there for you, but the same way you change one thing, same way you would change your bench press, is the same way that you change everything.